Welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at how to load the file you've created on your slicing software, like Prusa Slicer, and saved onto an SD card. And we're going to load that onto the Prusa printer and hit go on that first print. So this is how we're going to go through those steps. First step, if it's not already turned on, make sure you are turning on the 3D printer. Power button is on the back side. And you'll see that the printer is booting up. Once it's up, we'll be at the main menu. Should say everything's okay here, which is great. And we are gonna load the card in. The card is gonna be gold side towards you into the little slot on the side of the printer. If you look over there, you'll see a box. If you try to put it in the other way, it's not going to go in. So make sure it is gold side towards you and you're not forcing it in there. It goes in with just the press of a finger. And once it goes in, you'll see the menu changed. It's loading any files that are on there to see that they're on. And it automatically goes into the print SD window. So here we can scroll and choose any of the printer files that are already loaded on here ready to go. I do want to show how to get here though without automatically going in. So I'm going back to the main menu. I'm going to press the button and I'm going to go to print from SD card. Press the button and I'm at that same spot we saw before. So this is all the files on the card. Usually uh, with the Prusa printers here, the most recent file is going to be at the top. So the one that I just loaded on in the previous demo was the TV remote holder and it's listed right there. And it gives some nice information, including telling us that we should be printing on PLA so that we know that we have the correct filament loaded on the machine from whatever it was it was programmed from. So once we find what file we want, we're basically gonna just hit the knob on that file once and it goes back to the main menu and says we are now preheating to 215 degrees for the hot end and 60 degrees for the bed. It also tells us that this should be an eight and a half hour print for length of printing time. I'm gonna zoom out here just a, a bit to look at the printer as a whole. So again, coming up here, we have the sticker on the side of the filament that's on the printer and that sticker does say that it is PLA. So we can see uh, PLA is listed on the sticker so we know that we have the correct filament loaded. <clears throat> so the printer is still heating up. It's going to take a moment. <clears throat> when it gets to the proper temperatures it will start moving around and doing its thing. And that's gonna be once both the hot end and the bed get to the temperatures they are. If we look over here at this other printer, I've already got the same TV remote printing over there. And we can see a good print, what it should look like as it's going along. That particular print has just a little over seven hours left of printing time. So it's already been printing for over an hour and we see how far it's gotten in that process. Coming back to our printer that we're waiting on, we can see that the hot end is hot enough, but we're still waiting on the bed. So the bed is going to be hot, but I can put my hand on there. I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time. I'm just lightly pressing, but not going to burn me. But that 215 degree hot end, that's definitely going to be hot. That's not something we want to be getting our fingers near or touching at all. That will absolutely burn you. But the table itself should be pretty good. So it looks like they're both at the temperature and we'll see that it's starting to move now. So it's finding all of the home positions for X, Y, and Z automatically here and then it's going to go and just double check all the different heights of some different points on the bed just to make sure that it's got the correct Z setting. That's something we set up with the printer when we first got them but it does it for every print which is great. 
And then it's gonna come over here to the front corner and lay a little strip of filament. Just to purge some filament out. And then it's gonna do a layer all the way around the outside, just a ring. Again, to purge more filament out of the nozzle. And then it'll start putting down that first layer. So it's going to do a couple outside rings for that first layer and then it'll start filling in the middle. For any print, the first layer is one of the most important just to make sure that this print is going to be successful. If there's any problems with this first layer, your print is most likely going to have a problem somewhere in the future. But if this first layer goes down successfully, chances are the print is going to finish just fine. So it is kind of important to hang out for a few minutes just to make sure that this right here is looking good for what it is we're trying to do. So zoomed in a little bit here you can see kind of that it's filling in that layer. The farther it goes the easier it is to see what it's doing there but it's just putting a little bit of filament out of the jet and onto the plate. So this is going to take a while. But at this point we're probably good to let this print run for the rest of the eight hours. And when we're done, the printer will automatically cool down and go back to some home positions and just wait for you to come back and take the part off. For removing the part, I know I don't have one finished here, but this green plate is just magneted onto the black base. So when it's all done, you're just going to lift this green plate off of the printer and then you can peel the parts off. We don't want to use any metal scratching surfaces or things like that. So I do not want you using a metal spatula like this on our plates. You shouldn't need that. Just by flexing that plate a little bit, we're going to pop the part off. Make sure that you peel this strip of plastic off and any other plastic left on the bed and then you can put the plate back on. One of the important things for putting the plate back on is back here, see the screw back there? There's two screws back here and that's where the plate aligns to when we're putting it back on. So make sure when you put the plate back on it aligns to those two screws. But you will usually take the plate off to remove the part and then put the plate back on the printer. So this is how to load your first part using the SD card that we saved it to from Prusa Slicer. Load that file into the printer and hit go and then watch the first layer. And if all goes well as you saw on the other print, it'll just keep going and going and going for eight hours until that part is done or however long your particular print is. Maybe it's only a half hour print. Good luck printing.